What is good friends and welcome back. Do you want to see some bass being blown up, including mine? Then have a seat and enjoy this screen recording, this game recording. We are in Moscow. I think it's our third day. Friday, is it Friday or Saturday? I don't quite remember. Uh, so we are playing in BLR and there is some bases in some unclaimed land that needs to be clean or removed. So I will go ahead and play with my buddy um, Blitz. He's in BR BLR as well. He used to be in HBR with me, last conquest in Cairo. I really like to play with this guy. Uh, we get along because we think alike. We have the same style of play. We know what we have to do. This time we're not using voice, but most of the time we are and uh we, we get along i mean we we almost play the same so that's why uh, we enjoy playing together and you mostly see me blitz and neo in my videos because yep uh, we all speak french and we communicate well and speaking of french speakers if you're from france uh, canada congo any country that speak french and you're looking for a good alliance head over to HBR, there is a lot of French speaking players, you will get along with me. So we're going to dispose of this base, it's empty and I think the guy is active because he got his jet. So why is his base empty? Because I would think that he sent all his troops into army groups. So now he's stuck, no troops to train, cannot defend, so we got rid of him quite fast. Now we're going to siege this base. I will get rid of this bunker. You want a, a clean um, piece of land when you can, where you can maneuver without being bothered by Raven if he activate this bunker. So that's why I clean this bunker and I will pick up the roses for the event, the Valentine's event. So we will approach. I don't need that helicopter. Where is he going? He changes. Okay. <laughs> yep. So while we, you set up your artillery, it's always good to have a buddy um, pulling security for you, like making sure that your artillery will not get assaulted with armor. That's the case. So I'm uh, converting to his unit. Tank is almost gone, base is gone. Yep, good job. And might as well deploy the bombers just to expedite the burning process. Now get back to base. Don't stand there. As soon as you're done, get back to base. Don't leave your troops outside. You never know if the enemy can jump on you and try to destroy a few units. Always keep it safe. Now, your main priority, you see my, that my base is not fully healed and Blitz base is basically like he got maybe 10%, not even. So we're not in good shape per se. We need to be extra careful and that's the key here. By being extra careful, you will lose a little bit less reserves. Uh, there's no rush. Like when you are in unclaimed land, you don't benefit from any buff. But at least the enemy cannot jump on you. So always see the positive side. So now it's pretty eagle. BDC does a, doesn't have any claim land, so they don't have the bonus. Neither do I or Blitz. So we're going to set up our howitzer. I will pre-charge my howitzer like this. By doing so, you will save the load time, which is four seconds. You will fire instantly and every two seconds. So you, you save four seconds, basically. Every bit helps. Now, as we're getting ready, I'm going to pre-charge my second weaker artillery. Some of you ask, why do I have a blue and yellow artillery? Why not two yellow? Because the gold skin gives 7% instead of 5%. The reason is simple. 
I can make the difference. I can tell the difference right away, which is my strongest artillery by color. That's it. That's the trick I'm using. So if you observe carefully now my, my tank that I'm using to absorb the aggro is commanded by Valkyrie and Pain. This is a great combo on the battlefield, but I will switch uh, to a better combo, to a more durable combo a bit later. I should have done it earlier, uh, but I will do it a little bit later. So the best combo for that is a steel fighter or spanner with spanner or even better steel fighter with uh, the countess this is the most durable combo if you got a proper tank and the base is not too strong you may not even lose one unit if your the enemy's base is not in claim land when they are things are a bit different but at least you will uh, preserve a few units so now we're going to set up and uh, I, I, I want to make sure that blitz will have enough space to base so that's how you play smart think about your teammate you want to surround this base you want to be as close as possible for this operation this guy is most i he's pretty he's pretty much asleep now you may wonder why we are attacking FWZ. Aren't we supposed to be ally? Yes, but that moment we were not allied. It, it happened later in the game. So now we're working with them. We're three against five. Still not easy, despite FWZ being a strong alliance, the strongest alliance on this battlefield. So I will pre-charge my artillery again by activating this bunker. So I save, so I don't have to wait for four seconds. First, uh, first draw, first, uh, first shell, just like this. All right. Okay. So now I'm ready. I'm going to activate this base soon. All right, so 167 million. Now I will lose a few tanks. Yep, already two. Yeah, I lost quite a few. And now, when you destroy the base, you want to engage it with your tank. If you try to engage with your artillery, you may lose more unit than you hoped because, uh, well, obviously, the enemy will fire back at your artillery rather than your tank, which is not the best. Small detail that makes a difference. When you add all those details together, you end up by saving a bunch of reserves. That's how you play smart. If you say, well, I don't care, I have plenty of reserves until you don't have any more. Then you have to sit and wait, um, be the spectator when the action happened. So this guy, Big D, we're gonna approach him. Big, Big D. So how you control all your units except for your base, you select all and then you unclick your truck so you can move all your units at once without um, moving your truck. So 199 million power, this guy is a bit more powerful despite only having three units in his base. So that's when I'm gonna switch to a better combo for um, tanking combo that will give me a maximum durability until i can awaken the countess i will use steel fighter and spanner steel fighter first for the shield and spanner uh, as the aid for the healing 
If you don't have um, Steel Fighter, I guess use Panner and maybe a any officer that will give you a maximum amount of durability if you're not sure which officer gives you that. In the link, in my video description, there is a link for a a table with all the officers all the ground officers with their skills so it's one page that will give you uh, all the information you need to know without having you to scroll or uh, consult every officer one by one so our friend is dropping in behind us he will help us Only three more tanks to train. Just like that. All right. I'm about to launch the attack. If our buddy can come and help, that would be awesome. Alright. So we initiate the attack. So this time you will see I will not lose a single tank. Not one. Despite this being base being a little bit stronger. So you see, no loss. great job so far let's continue so now we're gonna move position just near this guy ghost 170 million a full base well full of troops not fully healed this time I don't need to deploy my base we to approach with my base as we are three guys that will siege this base that's plenty of firepower and we are in unclaimed land so there's no need to be extra cautious this time being all right so we'll activate this bunker to pre-charge the artillery once again And it's a good thing to deploy your fighters as well. You never know if this guy will uh, use his bomber. So by having a fighter close by, you uh, it's a good bomber deterrent. You, you prevent... Um, don't be negligent. I mean, take... Uh, Sometimes, oh, well, he's only one base or three. Nothing will happen until something happens. That's... Um, don't be negligent. Don't be nonchalant. Make, set everything, set, set yourself for success and not failure. So I'm gonna start this base right there. And if everything, if everything goes as planned, I shouldn't lose a single tank. You see, you see the difference between a, an officer that gives you good durability rather than firepower? There you go, so. If, if you don't like switching officer, that's fine, but you're, um, you're not putting all your chances on your side. It's no big deal. A few clicks and you're done. So now we're going to approach this guy. So this is different now because this guy he is now in claim land. When you are in claim land, you benefit from the alliance bonus. The um, I don't know how you call this, but you know what I'm talking about. So it will be significantly, uh, significantly harder, far from being impossible, but you will lose less unit as his base got a good buff. So you have to keep this in mind. As long as you are in 
uh, close to your base, you should be fine. So all those details that you need to think about, that's, that's when the experience, uh, th th that's where the experience goes, right? So you may not think it's important, but it is. Now, same officer setup, but this time you will see the difference. I will lose much more units, despite this base being a little bit weaker than the previous one. So already lost four units. Just like this. Could be worse. There you go. So anybody else want some? So we're gonna move um, on the west side. There's a few bases to clean. So now it's a different game, okay? We're still busting bases, but now you need to be extra careful as you will uh, as your troops will need to leave your base for a, f um, a farther distance that will expose you to danger quite a lot so stay frosty uh, look around make sure that there's nobody um, waiting to ambush you or it could be a problem why is it a problem? Well, if your base is empty and the enemy is there, what do you think is going to happen? They will go heavy on you. They will try to crush your base, uh, your defenseless, defenseless base. So you don't want that to happen. Now, for a reason, I have the wrong officer set up. You see, I have it Antonina on my Katusha as it should be on my um, golden artillery. No big deal not the end of the world I will realize this mistake a bit later in the game okay so we got a fourth guy helping us now at least we have buddies 169 million let's do this guy lost one unit already oh I lost a howitzer as well Ow. Okay, lost three tanks, two, a few howitzer. Now we're gonna go to this guy and this is where the danger is increasing. The, the, the danger level is quite high. <laughs> so now as we are approaching, I will activate a bunker and sometimes the enemy gives you free kills. Rest in peace, truck. Now my mistake is I forgot to look around as I would have detect this helicopter group. Uh, they will take some damage, but we will take some damage as well. So they will attack my smaller artillery. My biggest artillery is doing a fine job. We have too many units against us right there, right there. So there you go, a second group trying to assault my base. When I say it's dangerous when your base is empty, this is what I mean. So I'm gonna try to garrison, they will intercept me. Unfortunately, but the mistake they did is they they should have went for my base instead of my troops because now my base is still alive. I have to retrain in a timely fashion. I'm gonna freeze that tank with my bomber. My bomber is far from being the best. It's actually pretty weak. It's an eight-star unit, still better than the 7.1 or 7.2 stars. But at this point, this this bomber. I, had to, uh, I have to make a choice. Either I have a strong uh, fighter or a strong bomber. 
before going to that subject so now i'm gonna try to waste a few troops but i have to be again extra careful if i lose my tank it's game over i need to preserve my tank so now i will keep harassing them with my bomber my bomber is just to freeze a target so the target is uh, pulling away i will freeze it to destroy it with my tank so that's my main goal with this bomber try to annoy any unit and if you know getting uh, immobilized is pretty frustrating if it's uh, frustrating for me, it is for you, it is for everyone. So that's the best I can do with this bomber right now. Uh, I'm lucky to have a, a good airplane research. That's kind of compensate for the, the weak unit. So I'm gonna go for this tank as it's already weak. I will switch officer setup. I will put Valkyrie as a leader and Payne as an aide. Right there. All right. You want to make sure you reassign Steel Fighter to any unit so you benefit from a the base defense buff. So yeah, they try to activate the bunker to damage my bomber, but I have my fighters already in place if you use a bomber might as well use the fighter guys always protect your bomber especially if it's a weak bomber i decide to go with a weak fighter rather than a weak bomber um, i think I, I i'm i can have more kills with the fighter so this group took out my friend's base now guess what's gonna happen I will be alone. So I will bother them again. Go for that weaker unit. Oh, so this guy wants to approach me. He's closing in. So forget that tank. I will pull back my bomber and I will focus on this artillery right there. You see the blue artillery? I will focus on that unit because that unit is the one that will cause the most damage against my base. You see, my uh, I, I don't have a lot of troops trained yet, so I will try to gain some time, buy some time by uh, trying to damage the most dangerous unit. it's 31.6 million power it's quite strong so i want to make sure i take out this guy because those tanks alone won't be strong enough to cause significant damage you still end up getting burned but if you do if you inflict the maximum amount of damage you're in good shape right there so so this unit is immobilized but this helicopter guarding it is a not ideal so this tank will pay the price all right gone <laughs> this one as well <laughs> goodbye okay the, this artillery coming in i will not use my tank i want to preserve my tank Ooh, quick 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 before I get immobilized, ugh, and I will use my bomber. So 31.6 million. I'll do my best to slow him down. I'm going to use a buff. I think that it's a good moment. See, he went from 31 million to 24 million. Still strong, but at least... Okay, so they begin. I tried to counter this artillery, but mine uh, was blocked. Uh, one of my buddies trying to help. Yeah, he's, he's doing fine. He's doing what he can. I mean, he's not as strong as me, so it is what it is.
and I'm gone. Relocate quick. We didn't lose too much, so that was kind of a clean defense in my book. I didn't do any major mistake, so let's see the battle report. All right, 1100, 30, 0, 624, 486, meh, average. 75, 72, 292 against 24, that's not bad. 210 against 0, 178, 54, pretty much all positive uh, report except this one. Yeah, when you siege a base, you will always lose more reserves than you kill. Okay, so I have to wait a little bit. I hope that you enjoyed this footage. More will come very soon. More uh, battlefield footage. So I'm fifth place for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you later. Goodbye.